Now I will show you how to recover your hacked Facebook account without any recovery email, phone number or any other password. When someone hack your account or when you lose your mobile device, you will lose all your access. So you have to recover it without any of these access. So if you follow my step correctly, they will allow you to create a new primary email address as well as create a new password. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. To recover your account, you can use any meta application. But let's try to recover it just using your browser. If you want to learn other methods, I will put all the related video links and error fixing video links in the description. So open your web browser, then go to search bar. Now you have to type and search this one. Report compromised Facebook account. After that, you have to select the very first search result. The URL is this m.facebook.com slash hack. I will select the first search result, then you will be redirected to this window. Report compromise account. If you believe your account has been compromised by another person or virus, you have to click my account is compromised button. Then you will get this notice. To get back your account, they ask to enter your old or new password. Since we don't remember any new or old or any other phone number or any other recovery method, you have to tap forgotten password option under login button. So tap forgotten password. After that, they ask to enter your mobile number. If you don't remember your mobile number or if you didn't add any mobile number, that has already changed it, you can go back to the second option. Search by your email address or name instead. Here, they ask to enter your old email address. Even hacker has changed the old email address, you can go with your full Facebook name. Like me, you can enter your full Facebook name or if you created a Facebook username, you can enter it here. Then directly you can find your account. After entering, tap the search button. After that, they will list out all the account under your name. Then most probably you can find your account at the top of the list. You can select that account. But unfortunately, if you can't find out your account within this list, all you have to do, select I'm not in this list. Then you will be redirected to this window. To identify your account, they ask another question. Here they ask to enter one of my friend's full name on my Facebook profile. Sometimes they might ask your birth month or your current city name. According to your question, you have to answer here. Then if you couldn't find your account at the very first time, you can go through this account identification process again. Select not you, then you have to enter your name. Here select I'm not in this list. When you try another time, they ask a different question. This time you can see it asks to enter my birth month. Like this, select your birth month or sometimes they ask you to enter your current city name. After entering, tap the search button. Then they will exactly find my hackered Facebook account. Then within this box, you can see all password resetting method. If you have access to any of these password resetting method, you can select that method, then you can get a verification code. But unfortunately, if you can't reset your Facebook password, any of above password resetting method, Instead of resetting, you have to recover your account. To recover your account, you have to have this option called no longer have access to this. But some of you, this option is not available. So if you don't have this option, you have to watch the error fixing video. I will put that video link in the description. After watching that video, easily you can get back this option here. After that, you have to tap no longer have access to this button at the bottom to recover your account. Then you have to go through this password recovering process. Here, first you have to set your new login email address. After that, you have to verify yourself. To verify yourself, you have to submit a copy of your ID or submit a verification video. Finally, you have to wait until the Facebook team responds to you. Normally, they will respond to you within 24 hours. Then they will allow you to create a new password. So go through your recovery process, tap the start button at the bottom. Now within this window, they will allow you to set a, your new login email address. Here, as well as they have mentioned, all other phone numbers and email address will be removed from your account. This will be your primary email address. So they ask to enter 
a new email address which is not connected to any other Mekla account. So after entering a new email address, tap the get code button at the bottom. Then you will get this verification window. After that, you have to go back to your email application. Like this, I will minimize my browser. Then I will go to my email application. Since I provide a Gmail account, I will open my Gmail application like this. After that, you can see there is a new email from Facebook. If you open that email, you can see there is a one-time verification code. Like this, you will receive an email. Then you have to open that email. After you scroll a little bit down, then you can see this one-time security code. Take a long press on the code, then tap copy in the pop-up window. Then that code will be copied to the device clipboard. After you have to go back to your browser, then take a long press. Now either tap paste or you can tap on the keypad. Then that code will be pasted here. After that, tap the confirm button at the bottom. Then you have to confirm or verify it's you. In my case, I have only one verification method. I have to submit a copy of my ID. Somehow, if you have more than this, you have to select the easiest one. You don't need to select the my option too. Since I have only one option, I have to submit a copy of my ID. In this window, first I have to enter my full Facebook name. Like this, I will enter my name. Then I have to attach my ID copy. For the ID copy, you can submit any government IDs, passport, driver license. As well as if you want to learn what ID types they accept, you can tap learn more button. Then it will be related to your new window and you can see all the ID types which they accept. After that, you can add your ID code to this form like this. Finally, you have to tap the send button at the bottom to submit this form to Facebook team. After that, you will be related to this window. Here at the top, you can see thank you submitting your ID to Facebook as well as they have explained your requiring process and what will happen to your ID copy after they reviewing it. Normally, they will delete your ID copy within one month. Then you have to go back to your email application. Here, I will open my Gmail application since I provide a Gmail address. So if you refresh your email list, there should be a new email. If you can't find new email from Facebook, you have to go to social section or you can check the spam folder. Here, I will go to social section. You can see there's a new email from Facebook. If you open that email, it mentioned, thanks for submitting your ID to Facebook. After we review it, we will send an email with the next step. If you want to check your account review process, you can tap this blue color button. Then it will be redirected to this window. The first step already completed. We have successfully submitted our form. Now it is in the review stage. After they review it, they will send the decision. Then you can see their decision like this. If they could confirm this account really belongs to you, you will get this password reset email. Here, tap this reset button, then you can create a new strong password. After that, you can log back into your hacked Facebook account. This is just one way to recover your hacked FBA account. But if this method didn't work for you or if you got an error like we don't recognize your device or no longer have access to this, we can fix all those errors. I will put all error fix in video links in the description. If you got any trouble, you can check it out. That's it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Later.